High-level military officials from South Korea and the U.S. are in Washington for two days of meetings, which started on Tuesday. Now, aside from the North Korean threat, the two sides are trying to hammer out when and under what conditions Washington will hand over wartime operational control to Seoul. Ji Myung Gil has more. South Korea and the U.S. opened a high-level military meeting at the Pentagon on Tuesday local time, with North Korea and pending alliance issues topping the agenda. The two-day integrated defense dialogue began with Seoul requesting for another delay in the transfer of wartime operational control from the U.S. to South Korea. Seoul is currently scheduled to regain wartime operational control in 2015, but the government says the nation's military needs more time to prepare for the transfer. The two sides have reportedly agreed in principle on a delay due to the ongoing threat posed by North Korea, but the exact timing and other details are still being ironed out. The Allies will sit down with Japan for defense trilateral talks starting Thursday. Back here in Seoul, lawmakers plan to pass a defense cost-sharing pact with the U.S. at Wednesday's plenary session. In January, Seoul and Washington renew the special measure agreement that lays out the cost each side pays for stationing the 28,500 U.S. troops on South Korean soil. Under the deal, South Korea will pay some 880 million U.S. dollars annually from this year through 2018, a 5.8 percent increase from last year. Approval of the pact had been delayed, which sparked concerns that South Korean employees of U.S. Forces Korea would be forced to take unpaid leave and that affiliated firms would have to suspend operations. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.